Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I wanted to sit down and compile a list of gift ideas that maybe are sort of better suited to those of you who are maybe a bit more last minute. So most of the things within this um, haul slash video is gonna be kind of experience based or things that are really accessible to get in stores so that any of you who are running around frantically on Christmas Eve buying presents, then hopefully this video will be useful and helpful to you. If you haven't already, make sure you cozy up with a hot hug, get yourselves a nice cuppa. This is a decaf coffee we're on today in my new B&M mug which I love. So before we get into the gift ideas and suggestions, today's video is very kindly sponsored by one of my faves, Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa Jewelry is an amazing brand for affordable pieces which doesn't compromise on the quality there. The quality of their products is insane. I have some new pieces which I wanted to include within today's video. We have some earrings which, oh, I love these ones so much. They're actually like a climber. If you can see, they kind of have a bit of a diamante bit to them. These are called the Marley Huggy Earrings. So they kind of climb up your ear and the little bit of glitz and glam there is perfect for the festive season. Prices kind of start from around $39. Anna Luisa is based in New York, but if you order quickly, you can get them in time for Christmas. These earrings as well are stunning. Again, good for the festive season. I love all the packaging from Anna Luisa as well, but these, if you can see, have Again, a bit of sparkle. Huggy earrings are my absolute favorite. They're so comfortable. And these ones have a beautiful kind of crescent and star called the Celeste earrings. Then the last pair of earrings that I have picked out, so three pairs of earrings this time around. These are called the Rumi stud earrings and they are just beautiful. They're super minimal and dainty, probably the smallest earrings I own. I just think they're stunning. I think these would be great if you have um, layered like stud earrings, like sort of different piercings up your ear. Ana Luisa is the brand, the go-to brand that I will always recommend for gift ideas or for jewelry in general. I just think it's stunning. It's also a sustainable brand. So yeah, they are the three new pieces that I have added to my collection. Let me know which of the three you think I should choose for my Christmas day earrings in the comments below, number one, two or three. Don't forget to take advantage of that discount code FREA10 for 10% off. Happy shopping, let me know what you pick up yourselves. And let's get into the rest of the video where I'm gonna share with you all of the last minute Christmas gift ideas I have. So, starting with the easiest thing to book pre-Christmas is some kind of an experience because you can spend as much time or as little time as you want researching and all you kind of are gifting on the day is maybe just like a note to say, surprise, we're going to blah or we're experiencing this. Now, a couple of experience ideas that I have Ones that I know my brother and his girlfriend are after this year are ski slope, ski lessons, because they are going on a skiing trip. So they want uh, indoor ski lessons, which I know there's one near Manchester if you are local. Indoor ski slope at the Trafford Centre, which myself and Tom have actually been to. And do you know what? I've been tempted to get us kind of a booster course or a secondary course to that, because we had a really good time. We just did two back to back, I think it was two four hour sessions, two days in a row in the evenings as well. They have the indoor skydiving there as well. I know in Manchester there are a couple of kind of indoor experiences as well, the breakout and the escape rooms. I always thought it was a really good idea. I think it's Airbnb that have a section where it's unique stays. So unique lodges, Airbnbs, up and down the country abroad as well. But I think it's quite fun to do maybe a UK staycation. Speaking of British states, I've thought about doing maybe four Tom, whether it be for his birthday or Christmas, some kind of um, visit to maybe the Cotswolds or down in Wiltshire, I think. Basically, I have this book. Rick Stein is one of his favorite TV chefs. He loves watching Rick Stein cooking shows and he um, has this book out. I actually picked this one up from Costco at $13.99. So I thought this would be a good gift to kind of give with surprise. We're going to the Cotswolds, we're going to one of Rick Stein's restaurants down there. And um, yeah, it's a really nice cooking book in itself. But obviously if you're gifting an experience to buy this 
with it or something like that. I mean, I know previous years when Tom's surprised me with a holiday or I've surprised him with a little holiday getaway, we've bought maybe like a, a map. So say for instance, when we went to Amsterdam, we bought a little Amsterdam travel map and it's kind of a nice gift to give with the tickets or with the kind of surprise booking. Another experience gift idea that I had is some kind of driving lesson or flying lesson, some kind of experience that you wouldn't ordinarily necessarily book yourself. I know for my 21st I had a driving experience in a Porsche, like on a road track. And even though like I'm not that into cars, I really enjoyed it. Maybe a skydiving experience if they are brave enough, not just an indoor one, an actual one. And then the last of the kind of experience that I've seen online recently that you can purchase, which I've never seen before, is a kind of female empowerment experience for that certain someone who is all about embodying female empowerment and really self-confident or maybe even wants a little boost of self-confidence. There are some companies, I'll leave links to all of these kind of things and ideas listed down below where I've seen them online, but you can go and have your naked figure casted and made into a candle so you know you get these kind of female body candles you can actually get one done of your own body which i think is really interesting and unique so moving on from experience on to yet another kind of item that you can just purchase then and there and give to someone is a subscription so whether that be a beauty subscription in fact i do have a couple of beauty boxes that i've received recently which i'll share with you these are both from look fantastic and they do have a beauty box subscription glossy box is another one that i get regularly these however are kind of like a special edition for the holidays this one is for the night before christmas so this is a good kind of christmas eve package pamper box and in here you get a whole load of goodies a satin pillowcase one of the relax shots from my vitamins a all night long calming sleep spray a deep sleep body cocoon from this works a retinol serum from beauty pro some sleep 100 natural bath salts a surrender vata massage oil all about the pampering the night before christmas and then they've got this one for the house of proud and this box when you open it smells incredible. So in here you get a molten brown suede orris bath and shower gel. I love the molten brown products. An aromatherapy associates pure essential oil, shower steamer from bubble tea, a little howl, howl, hair towel wrap. Oh my god this is what I think smells amazing. This is a gorgeous smelling candle. This is from This Works again in the scent Neroli and Sweet Orange. And then from Neom, love Neom, the Perfect Nights sleep pillow mist, a natural dead sea mud mass. Other subscription suggestions may include things like um, if they're a beer drinker, you can get a beer subscription box. The subscription box is for everything now. Flowers, you could subscribe to a monthly or annual pass at the cinema as well, especially if you buy one for maybe yourself and your other half. And then of course there are app subscription services like Readly, who I've worked with before and love that their service ever since I've signed up for them now I just use it all the time so rather than buying loads of magazines to have it all in one place on your phone tablet whatever that is really handy and then another thing I thought you could sign up to for somebody is maybe a pass for the National uh, Trust Parks all up and down the country they've got different passes available but I think they they start from about 10 pounds especially for kids they're cheaper right up to about 72 pounds where you can gain access to all the national trust parks especially for someone who is a bit of a rambler likes going on walks and exploring the UK countryside another thing that I wanted to mention which I thought was a fun idea is cameo so if you've never heard of cameo before it is an online platform where you can basically choose a celebrity rec to record a message and obviously the price varies depending on who the person is recording the message obviously this can't be too last minute because you've got to give them enough time to record it but you can see their turnaround time and some of them are really really quick another thing is kind of like a voucher for lessons of some kind whether that be for learning a new instrument piano lessons guitar lessons 
or whether someone is a bit crafty and into arts, maybe art lessons, maybe some life drawing classes, which would be fun, um, especially to do with friends, or also maybe calligraphy lessons, I think would be really interesting too for that person who is into arts and crafts. And then sort of back to the music side, maybe singing lessons, if that's something that the person you're buying for has always had an interest in. Another thing you could purchase for someone as a sign up is some kind of meal kit, whether it be a regular subscription like a HelloFresh or a Gusto, something like that, or whether or not it be just maybe a first starter box for them to then purchase thereafter should they wish, or if it's something like a one-off food box delivery. I know we've had one before from some friends from Dishoom. I'll have a look online and see if they still do it and if they do leave a link to it below. But we had a brunch box delivered for, I think it was for Tom's birthday from one of his friends. And I thought that was such a great idea. It delivered straight to your door. It was very straightforward and easy, but good fun because it's kind of a bit of an activity to do as well. And Dishoom is lovely if ever you've been. Next up is something that I wanted to share with you that I got from Etsy and Instagram. It's a pet portrait, which I've shown this as an idea before, but with it being a pet portraits or I suppose you could get any kind of drawing done or personalized you know line drawing of their house or whatever it is that you want to do that is some kind of a drawing that might take a bit longer then a voucher for that I got that last year or was it for my birthday from Barney um Tom knew that I wanted to get one done for him so I ended up um getting a voucher for that and then it allowed me to be able to choose the photo that I wanted to send to the artist to draw anyway since then, I've had that same artist draw um, another one of Barney. This was the one that she drew first at his eight, eight month, eight week portrait. And this is from mspoortrait.co.uk. You can find her on Instagram as well. So that was his eight week one, except obviously it's downstairs, but the full size, the A4 version. She can do them in color, black and white, different sizes, and the price will obviously vary. And then this has just arrived in the mail today and this is his eight month portrait. So I thought it'd be really fun to get an eight week versus eight month side by side. I can get these framed, have them sort of side by side, Barney, eight month, eight week versus eight month. I just love it. The talent from her is incredible. She's so incredibly talented. Like I look at his eyes and I'm like, that's Barney. It's Barney. She does have a longer lead time though. So a voucher for that would be great. However, I did find this on Etsy, which was a really quick turnaround time. So I was really impressed. I thought I would include it. It's more of a print, this one, that you send in your image and you sort of pick like a classic photo. I mean, it's just, ridiculous but so funny and I actually really love it so I'm gonna put pop this in like a, a nice frame or something for in Tom's room this is kind of gonna be Barney's gift from him to Tom at Christmas and it's just like an oldie worldy distressed image you send in your image of your dog your cat whatever animal and some of them are just so funny. This was from Precious Pet Arts on Etsy. I feel like this isn't necessarily a, a specific to last minute gift guide, but something that I did also get for Tom, which I thought I might as well show, is from Bennett Winch, handmade in London. This is a brand that Tom has been loving. He's got a wash bag, he's got a big kind of suit carry-all bag, which featured on the new James Bond. He was quite impressed that he has the same bag as James Bond. I decided to get him, well, he asked for this year, um, the Bennett Winch wallet. So it's like a card holder, this one. They do have more of a wallet style, but Tom prefers, he tends to use card holders a lot more. But yeah, obviously some kind of wallet or something like that card holder for men or women from Selfridges. I think they have a sale on a minute, 20% off quite a few designers as well. Another gift idea that I thought you could do maybe the night before Christmas is some kind of DIY baked goods type item, whether it be cupcakes, cookies, a biscotti even, if you want it to last a little bit longer, some kind of family recipe. And I got one of these jars from Aldi, which I thought would look beautifully gift wrapped within because it's not just like a cheap, you know, I was gonna say it's not a cheap supermarket storage container. It is a cheap supermarket storage container, but it looks lovely. It's a dupe for the Zara home ones that they've brought out recently with the acacia wood uh, handled jar. 
airtight as well and it even comes with this one comes with a little um brown papered label that you can attach and kind of do like a diy like they've done on the front of the box now these are only i think they're 6.99 or 7.99 per container per canister zara i think they're about 20 quid so a great dupe and again kind of wrapped up with a bow maybe on top or some kind of festive cookies you could put in there you could even just put like candy canes in there and keep it nice and simple if you don't want to do any like baking whilst we're on the topic of aldi whilst i was in there i also spotted these jigsaw puzzles which i thought would be really fun they are a thousand pieces they're pretty you know there's a lot of effort that goes into completing these jigsaws but they're good to have at christmas because you can kind of have it out all the family can come and go to it. So I've got this Harry Potter one and the Disney one. I think they had, yeah, they had a Friends one as well. They were only $6.99 each. Great gift idea is a jigsaw for the whole family or some kind of game. And again, you can pick these up from stores anywhere or sort of last minute. So really accessible product to get and really fun to do at Christmas time, in my opinion anyway. I'm a big jigsaw lover. Another thing we thought about doing for if you've got any nieces, nephews, sons, daughters, grandkids that maybe are sort of the age from six onwards, there's this new thing called Go Henry, which is a bank account specifically designed for kids. So you can start kind of teaching them the ways with their money and saving. You can deposit five pound a month in or something and or if they do their chores they can kind of get money through the bank account you have like full control over it as well so you can really like sort of teach them the ways with banking and being good with their money i feel like wine and chocolates is a given when it comes to christmas if ever you're unsure maybe if you're buying for someone who is like a teacher or a hairdresser or a gardener or whoever you buy for that's kind of in your life on a regular basis that you want to treat drink and chocolate is always like an easy choice it's actually a good fail safe option but i do have a couple of other bits and pieces that i have as gift ideas i've been collecting which i thought i would just include within this video um so firstly from b and i've got a couple of gift sets from the gifting section I've done a whole b and video with the gifting but this is just a couple i've picked up since so this is a hot chocolate six pack at only three pounds with the six different flavors you've got orange toasted marshmallow hazelnut peppermint ginger and what's the other one caramel and the fact they come in crackers i thought it'd be even a good idea for maybe table play settings and then another yummy treat which i picked up from b and m good stocking filler three pounds a classic s'mores kit with hazelnut spread you get the hazelnut spread money marshmallows sweet s'mores crackers to be able to make your own s'mores. I know it's a gift most guys roll their eyes at, however, socks. Socks for me are such a good staple. I love receiving a new pair of cozy socks at Christmas. These ones are all from TK Maxx. These ones are part cashmere from June London. Nice and neutral with the gray and the cream border and then the other pair are just the reverse. I've got two two packs. This one comes with black and cream and this one comes with a cream and kind of a darker oatmeal color. These ones were both $5.99 with a retail price of $12.99 so you get a bit of a saving on there with your wellies and your boots on to have nicey cozy socks nicey cozy socks to have nice cozy socks is just uh, an essential so lastly a couple of other beauty bits ghd do these mini paddle brushes which i thought would be a perfect little stocking filler and then for some more luxury gifting from ghd this year they have some amazing christmas additions for some of their well trusted well loved products of which they've sent me this deluxe set so i had to include this to share with you platinum plus professional smart styler and helios professional hair dryer of which i already have emerald green vanity case ghd desire collection the green that they've used this year for their christmas marketing look at this oh, gorgeous Ready? Oh. this set is just a perfect all-rounder for a ghd lover especially if they're doing an upgrade and then also i've got a couple of items from bare minerals recently which i thought i would include one of them in particular i love so they do some gorgeous makeup in my opinion for all age types i feel like they're really well suited to purchasing for someone who's maybe got a bit more mature skin has more fine lines and wrinkles 
Bare Minerals, I find anyway, is a brand that doesn't set in the lines. It's a lot of uh, powder-based products as well to help set whilst being breathable and really good for your skin at the same time. So they've sent me recently a Mineralist eyeliner, but this is the one I wanted to include and share with you, the Mineralist eyeshadow palette. This one is the Burnished palette, and I thought it had a really good range of colours. Very wearable, good for all ages, nice and neutral tones, and I love this. I would use each and every single one of those colours. So there we have it, a few ideas and suggestions on what you could maybe purchase if you're a last minute buyer. I hope you've enjoyed this video and got some inspiration, taken some ideas from it that you can maybe implement and purchase yourself for your loved ones this year. Let me know which is your favourite and of course don't forget to take advantage of the discount code I have with Anna Louisa which is FREYA10 for 10% off your purchase. Thank you to them for working with me on this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more and I hope to see you all very very soon in my next video. Bye guys!